Hi, in this short video, I'll be talking about compound propositions and truth table. So let's start with compound propositions. By definition, this is a proposition composed of simpler propositions using propositional connectives. So example, we have a proposition P and a proposition Q. When these two propositions are joined together, they now become compound propositions. So let's look at the logical operators or the propositional connectives. There are six. We have the first one, the conjunction. This is the symbol and this is read as end. So when we combine the proposition today is a holiday and I am riding a bike using the conjunction end, this is now the new symbol and this is how it is read. Propositional P is today is a holiday. This symbol is read as end and proposition Q is I am riding a bike. So in words or in a written statement this becomes today is a holiday and I am riding my bicycle. The second logical operator is disjunction. This is the symbol and this is read as or. So when we combine proposition P and proposition Q using disjunction this is now the symbol and this is read as today is a holiday or I am riding a bicycle. So let me write that down. Today is a holiday or I am riding my bicycle. The third logical operator is the exclusive or. This is the symbol and this is read as either or. So when we combine proposition P and proposition Q using the logical operator either or or exclusive or, this is now the new symbol. So this is read as either today is a holiday or I am riding my bicycle. There you go. We now proceed to the fourth logical operator implication. This is the symbol and normally we read this as implies or the if-then statement. So this becomes P implies Q. So we normally start with if then followed by proposition P then followed by the word then and then followed by proposition Q. So we write this or we read this as if today is a holiday, this is the proposition Q, comma, then we add now proposition Q, I am riding my bicycle. There you go. So this is P implies Q in words using this proposition. If today is a holiday, then I am riding my bicycle. We now go to the fifth logical operator, the biconditional. This is the symbol, and this is read as if and only if. So P biconditional Q. So we read this as today is a holiday if and only if I am riding my bicycle. All right. So that is the biconditional if and only if statement. The last one would be simply a negation. So we read it as a not. This is the symbol. So this is a not P, meaning we are trying to negate that today is the holiday. So when we negate proposition P, this is today is not a holiday. There you go. If we also try to negate proposition Q, we use this symbol and Q, then this becomes I am not riding my bicycle. Or sometimes this could be rephrased as it is not the case that today is a holiday. This is still the same as the not P. 
which is today is not a holiday. So you can make use of the not or you can use it is not the case. So once again, these are the compound propositions. Conjunction, disjunction, exclusive or, implication, biconditional, and negation. Take note that propositional connective is an operation that combines two propositions to yield a new proposition. Now we go to the truth table. So let's see the truth values for these operators. So we have the first one, conjunction. In order for a proposition P and Q to be true, both P and Q must be true. So this is how it works. So say for example, proposition P is today is a holiday and proposition Q is I am at the cinema. So if proposition P is true and proposition Q is true, then if we combine this proposition using conjunction and both P and Q are true, then the compound proposition P and Q is true. So in order for this proposition to be true, both the propositions should be true. Otherwise, the rest are false. So another case, if proposition P is true and if proposition Q is false, then this must be false because it did not meet this condition. Another scenario, if proposition P is false and proposition Q is true, then this is still false. And lastly, if proposition P is false and proposition Q is false, this is still false because it did not meet this condition for conjunction. So this is the truth value or the truth table for conjunction. We now proceed to this junction. So for proposition P or Q to be true, so this compound proposition P or Q to be true, either P must be true or Q must be true, but not necessarily both. So we have a situation. P is true. Q is true. So this must be true. P is true is false. Well, P must be true or Q must be true. So it's either one of them. So this is still true. Another scenario, one of them is true. So this is still true. However, none of them is true. So this is a false truth value. Then we go to either or or ex exclusive or. So for this exclusive or compound proposition to be true, either P must be true or Q must be true, but not both. So as long as one of them is true, but not both is true. So as long as one of them is true, then exclusive or P, exclusive or Q is true. Then as long as one of them is true, it's still true. But it cannot be both, so this must be false. And this is also false because none of them is true. Next, we have the implication. The only condition that proposition P implies Q is false is when P is true, P is true, and Q is false. Q is false, so it only becomes false when P is true and Q is false. So this is false and the rest should be true. There you go. Biconditional. In order for compound proposition P biconditional Q to be true, both P and Q must be both true or both false. So both true, this is true. Both false, so this is true. Then the rest is false. So you notice there are only two truth values for this. Definitely, it's either true or false. And then the last, not P, will only focus on proposition P. So we just simply negate it. So if it's true, then it's false. If it's false, then 
it's true. So this is what we call true table of the logical operators or the compound propositions. Thank you very much.